Good afternoon. Hello, Hi, hello. Teacher. Hi, how are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Great, great. Okay. Welcome back. So this is our last week, guys. Our last week. <laughs> how do you feel? Very good. Good. Yeah, good. Great. Good. Good. Okay. So you're about to finish basic two and then you go with basic three. Okay. And very soon you're done. Okay. How many are we? We are 23. Let's start the class. I'm going to check the attendance first. As usual, I have Ana Lidia Hernandez Perez. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodriguez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Carlos Jose Blanco de Leon. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth Hernandez Amaya. Present. Dalia Lilibet Sanchez. Present. Dani Angélica Merlos Valle. Present. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Stephanie Yamilet Ayala Acosta. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Present. José Mario Hernández Santos. Present. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Karen Astri Luna Portillo. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie Arguete Escobar. Present. Kenia Celina Castillo Franco. Present. Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Present teacher. Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Dante Bení. Laura. Dante. Laura Bertila. No, ok. Uh, Laura Carolina Mengíbar Argueta. Laura Carolina. Eh, el teacher. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Lady Julissa Recinos Portillo. Present. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Okay. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Mary Abigail Fuentes de, ba de Velázquez. Present teacher. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Thank you. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's start today's class. Where were we? Do you remember the previous topic? Do you remember the previous topic? Frequency adverbs. Very good. Can you give me an example? Never. I never. Well, how come? Sleep, come can never. <laughs> I okay. never. I never sleep during the day. Just usually. Uh, usually what, Jose Mario? Sometimes. 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 Sometimes so I, room. Make a sentence. Come on. Sometimes I clean my room. Okay. Keep my going. mom usually cooks in the afternoon. My mom usually cooks. Remember, very good. In the afternoon. He always is studying on the weekend. He always studies uh -huh, on the weekend. Remember, even I, if it is third person, you still modify the verb. Aún modificas el verbo si tienes un verbo de frecuencia si es tercera persona, right? Okay. She, she often rooms in the park. Good. Repeat. Often. 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 She often. She often rooms in the park. Great. I said rooms. I always. Runs, said, runs, runs. No, I runs. cook always for my family. I always. I'm sorry. Dale. Look, I always cook for my family. I always cook for my family. Perfect. Okay, remember, turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Make sure you have your full name. 
This is our last week. Come on. Good. Okay. So today we have to talk about seasons. What are the seasons in El Salvador? Summer and winter. Summer and winter. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Just summer. summer and winter. What about the United States? Summer, winter, fall, spring. Oh my God, good. Summer, winter, fall, and spring. Very good. Let's check really quick the video uh, with Jose. We are gonna talk about sports today as well. Listen. Cavalry related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Okay, so if you noticed, that's our mission right now. We have to talk about the weather, okay, the seasons, <clears throat> the seasons and the sports that we usually play. So what sports do you play during summer, guys? During summer in El Salvador? When it's really hot? Surf. You surf? Okay. So then I go surfing, right? I go surfing. I go surfing. Yeah, you cannot say I play surfing, right? I go surfing. By the way, it's surfing, 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 not surfing, not surfing, surfing. Good, I go surfing. Good, what else do you do when it's hot during the summer? Swimming? I go swimming. Be careful with that. Yeah, I go swimming. Football de playa, pero no sé, pitcher. O sea, soccer. No I play sé. beach soccer. Beach soccer. Okay. Uh, I play beach soccer. Very good. I play volleyball. I play volleyball. Very good. Is that over there? Mm, no. Yeah, yeah, there is. In the summer, I play volleyball. Baseball, tennis, swimming. Hmm. Okay, we don't do skiing here, right? We don't go skiing here. No. There's no ice. <laughs> Good. There was an ice um, court in La Gran Vía, right? Remember? Long time. See, ooh, long time ago. Long time ago, yeah. Okay. Good. So you look at the examples, use the vocabulary and talk about, oh, what about the winter? What do you do in the winter here in El Salvador? What do you do in the winter? Drink coffee. <laughs> Drink coffee, stay home. Hey, but <laughs> can you, do you play chess? Run in the rain, on the rain. <laughs> run, in, run under the rain. Run under the rain. Oh yeah, that's, I, I run under the rain. Yeah, that's delicious. I mean, it's wonderful when you run under the rain. <laughs> feels 
it feels like you can run even more, you know, you don't get tired. It feels really good. Uh huh. What Pero else do you do? No, hay en El Salvador. no, there's no skiing. That's right. We don't go skiing. What else do we do during uh, the rainy season? During the rainy season, do you go bicycling? You take your bicycle and go out. I don't practice sports. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna split you. You have to have a conversation. How do you say que deporte juegas en el verano? What sport do you what play? You play? Perfect. How do you say yeah. que deporte juegas en el invierno? What sport do you play in the win winter, winter? In the winter. That's right. Very easy. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me split you so you can practice with this vocabulary. I will send you the picture right now to your WhatsApp of the vocabulary, the Snapchat. Okay, do you know what is fall? What is fall, guys? Otoño. 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 This is easy. This is very easy. Okay. Any questions while I send this? Questions, questions, questions. No questions? La donde decía hiking sería como caminata. Hiking, yes, very good. Hiking is senderismo. Basically, long walks. You do long walks with someone. Okay, let's practice. Let's put it all together. Okay, let's do it. Hello. Um, what sport do you play in the bueno, aquí no hay primavera, hablemos solo de lo que tengamos. Sí. What do you play in the summer? Summer. Summer. Uh, I go swimming. Mm -hmm. I go bike ride. Where do you practice that sport? Uh, bueno, what sport um, do you practice in winter? I go play basketball. I go no caminar. Wow. Teacher, I don't remember. I go I go hiking. I go hiking. I go hiking. H I K I N G. Caminares, I go. Um hiking is, is caminata. Uh, I go uh, walking. I go out for a long walk, but the sport, the sport is hiking. Senderismo. That's hiking. That's a sport to go hiking. 
look at the example look at the example that i'm giving you on the chat in the winter people in canada go skiing but in el salvador we stay home oh el salvador con minúscula sorry el salvador we stay home you could also use the frequency adverbs i always go skiing I always go hiking during winter or during summer, for example. Try to use what we have learned and make sentences. I always go hiking. For example, talk about a family member. My uncle lives in the States. In winter, he goes skiing, but I stay home. For example, my my husband never goes hiking. Goes. Goes. Mm -hmm. Hiking. Hiking because he doesn't like. Do exercise. He doesn't like to do exercises, really? <laughs> okay, he doesn't like exercising or he doesn't like to do exercise. It's okay. Good job. Okay, continue, girls. Only girls. Oh my God. I'll be back. Okay, so hello. Hello. What are we doing? Let's try to apply what we have learned. Look at your chat, look at the examples. Okay, in the winter, people in Canada go skiing. In El Salvador, we stay home. I always go hiking during winter. Next, my uncle lives in the States. In winter, he goes skiing, but I stay home. Mm -hmm. Give your examples, okay? use the frequency adverbs. I often play chess with my family during winter. When it rains. Yeah. Questions? Podría ser, si pregunta, what sport do you, do, do you play in the summer? Eh, podemos poner, I go to play never Basketball. I never play basketball. I never. No es necesario poner I go. No. I go. Mm -hmm. Solo se Salvo que tú I digas never... I never go playing. Así sí se podría. Juego. Igual está diciendo lo mismo, solo que estás ocupando go y lo separas poniéndole ing al play. I never go playing basketball. Mm, okay. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never... Any other questions? 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 No more questions? Okay. Keep going. Try to make the sentences. Traten de ocupar lo que hemos visto en toda la clase, okay? Come on. Okay. Frequency, frequency adverbs. Let's do it. Okay. In summer practice, Practice in, practice in summer. Oh my God. This is a family. Go. Hay una familia aquí. Leonel Hernández. ¿Quién más está aquí? <laughs> Ana Lidia Hernández and Ricardo Hernández. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're all Hernández. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Except Kenya and Lady. Okay. Hey, look at your chat. Try to build examples like this. For example, in the winter, people in Canada go skiing. But in El Salvador, we stay home. Number two, I always go hiking during winter. Durante el invierno. Okay. Hiking es el deporte de caminar mucho, right? 
Good. My uncle lives in the States. Listen, third person. My uncle lives in the States. In winter, he goes skiing. He goes skiing, but I stay home. In El Salvador, I stay home. Okay, give me your examples. Try to build more examples. Okay, what sports do you play during winter or during summer? Come on, guys. Sorry, Lydia? Play basketball. You play basketball in winter? Mm -hmm. Okay, what yes. about you? What about you, lady? I play volleyball in summer. In summer, in summer, in the summer. In summer. In the su in the summer. Good. Okay. In the summer. At the beach. At the beach. Yes. Okay. Good. That's a nice sport. What about you, um, Leonel? Creo que Leonel y Alvino tienen un problema con el Inter. Yeah. Okay, Kenya. And I play soccer, baseball in the summer. You play baseball in, oh, in the summer. Okay, good. Good, good. Kenya? In the summer, I play soccer with my brother. Do, do you like playing soccer? Yes. It's nice to see women playing soccer. My uh, my cousin used to play soccer at school. It was great. It's really exciting to see do her. Do I play? Do I play badminton? I also good. I also play badminton. Really? Here in El yes. Salvador? Wow. Wow. Are you good? Yeah. Oh yes. my God. Good. That's great. Okay. Continue the conversation, guys. You can do it. Don't stay quiet. Otro ejemplo. Yeah. Try, try to use. Try to use everything we have learned. Try to ocupar lo que hemos aprendido. Los adverbios de frecuencia. Miren los ejemplos ahí en el chat. In the winter. People in Canada go skiing, but in El Salvador, we stay home in the winter, okay? I always go hiking during winter. I always go hiking during winter. My uncle lives in the States. In winter, he goes skiing, but I stay home. You see, you can do that, okay? Do you have a family member in Canada? No. 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 Okay, in the United States? Yes. <laughs> yes, everyone. <laughs> okay, so as, uh, tell about your family member. Tell about your family member, my uncle, my aunt, my brother. Uh huh. What do they do during their vacations, during winter? And what do you do during winter? Okay, go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm not here. Hello, ¿qué dijo? <laughs> Ok, chicos, yo no estoy aquí. Sigan con la conversación. Tienen que crear más oraciones ocupando lo que necesitamos hablar ahorita de los deportes y el clima. Come on, guys. Ok. What, what export do you play summer?
I go swimming in the pool. Play some time. Swimming. A que a veces, a veces usted practica el entonces la natación. Uh -huh. uh, en mi caso, no, I don't play in swimming, ni, ni sé nadar. Me da pena decirlo, pero ni sé nadar. Bueno, eh, vaya, ella ya me contestó. Me dice, no, I don't play in tennis. Yo le pregunté de que si ella juega tenis y me, me contesta que no. Eh, vamos a ver, eh, ella dice, ah, no, yes, son otros. Eso son yo, ok. <risa> ok, esos son ejemplos. Eh, me llega, están aplicando lo que han visto, eso es lo que les quería invitar, que apliquen lo que hemos visto. Miren, in the winter, people in Canada go skiing, but in El Salvador, we stay home, right, in the winter. Uh, I always go hiking during winter. I always go hiking during winter. Salgo de caminata durante el invierno. Um, my uncle, third person, my uncle lives in the States. In winter, he goes skiing, but I stay home in El Salvador. Okay. Now eh, teacher, verdad que la pregunta, por ejemplo, es... Eh... How do you practice uh, in the winter, for example, or in the summer? What sports uh -huh, do you practice during winter and on in the winter or in the summer? What sports do you practice in the winter, or in the summer? Yeah, because we don't have fall or Yep, we don't have the other two um, seasons. We don't have fall and we don't have spring. We only have summer and winter, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. What sport do you practice in the winter? In the winter uh -huh, or in the summer? Okay, let me hear you. Keep going. Okay. Siguiendo su ejemplo, teacher, eh, in the El Salvador, in, in winter, the people run on the street, but in United States, in winter, the people at home. In winter, uh -huh, the people stays at home. People stay, stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Okay. They stay home. Okay, good. Okay. Um, in the winter, people in Canada uh, uh, go go play hockey. In, go in playing, go playing hockey. Mm -hmm. Go playing, go playing hockey. Mm -hmm. In in El Salvador, in the winter, people uh, stay at home. Stay home. Stay home. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's what we can do right i always uh i always play basket i always play volleyball at the beach with my friends in summer i always play volleyball in the beach with my friends in summer teacher what sport do you do in the summer what sports do you do in el salvador in summer Oh, in summer. What sports do you do in summer? Yeah, that's a valid question. Okay, keep going, guys. More examples. We're almost done. Okay. In the winter, I don't practice. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Is that on your book? <laughs> that's the next wait that's next okay so you're done let's continue so you can practice the conversation that's the next step on the class right now okay teacher okay let's go
Okay, great job, guys. Thank you for applying everything that we have seen. So, se suponía, y está bien, la mayoría lo hizo muy bien, pudieron aplicar lo que hemos visto hasta ahora, ¿no? So, I always play volleyball in the beach. I usually go hiking with my friends on summer. Um, I usually go camping with my friends to the volcano um, in the winter and so on. Okay, good. I hope you understood that part. Think about Let's it. move on to the next part, which is a conversation. Okay, good. Now, pay attention. We have WH questions with simple present. Let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, so I'm going to stop it there because I want to continue. Um, the goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detail. Okay, so, si lo recuerdan, vimos un ejemplo similar en el uso de las WH words, de las palabras WH, ya se las pueden en la mayoría. A ver, let's see, what is what? What is the meaning of what? ¿Qué? 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 ¿Cuál? 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 Very good, ok. Ajá, ¿qué o cuál? ¿Who? ¿Quién? 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 Ahora, recuerden, ¿verdad? Puedo ocupar who con with al final para preguntar con quién. Where? Donde. Now, how often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? No, ¿Con con qué frecuencia? frecuencia? ¿Cuán a menudo? ¿Cuán frecuentemente? Ok, hace esta la actividad. Ok, when? Cuando. Cuando. Cuando, ok. Y de nuevo, ¿no? What time? A qué hora. A qué hora. A qué hora. A qué hora. It's very good. So, you add, agregas esa palabra you... más a la WH para darle otro sentido y buscar información específica. What time, ok. Y hay otras, ¿no? Pero vamos a trabajar con estas seis preguntas. Vas a empezar, en lugar de empezar con la conversación, vas a empezar hablando. El café bien bueno, ¿no? Tiene como acidito. Al echarle canela sabe mejor, de hecho. <risa> Lo siento. Ok, it's ok. De hecho, la canela ayuda a rebajar la panza. Dicen, a mí no me funciona, pero igual. Bueno. Ok, so, esas seis preguntas, mira qué fácil se las haces a tu, a tu compañero. Uh, so, let's practice. Let's see. Ana Silvia, what sports do you play? Oh, hiking every day. Ah, ok, I go hiking every day. Um, who do you, listen, who do you go hiking with? Estoy ocupando la segunda pregunta. Who do you go hiking with? Alone, teacher. Alone. Where do you go hiking? Uh, 
uh, out of my house. Out of my house, good. Uh, How often do you go hiking? Every day. Every day? Okay. And when do you go hiking? At what time? Um, half past five. Half past five, okay, at 5.30 a.m. Wow, 5.30 a.m. What? My God. <laughs> you see? That's a conversation. And then Ana Silvia can ask, and you, what sports do you play? Who do you play with? Okay. Got it? Creo que lo, lo, lo más complejo de, de estas preguntas, así como nos acabamos de explicar con Ana Silvia, fue cambiar la segunda. Who do you go hiking with? Lo único que cambié en realidad fue el deporte que practica Ana Silvia. En lugar de decir play baseball, dije go hiking. ¿Verdad? Questions? Questions? How do you say hiking? Hiking. hiking. How do you spell it? H-I-K-I-N-G. Hiking. It's on the previous example. Ahí está en el ejemplo previo. Let's see. You say hiking. Or what is the meaning, Jeremias? What do you mean? Come. Hiking. The meaning is to go for a walk. Go for a walk. Esa es una, Ernesto usó la palabra adecuada y se me olvidó. Pero es, es salir como a... una caminata. Tío. Es una caminata, caminata pero, pero a manera de deporte. Senderismo, senderismo, senderismo de hecho. Senderismo. Pero en realidad es caminar, o sea, salir a caminar lejos con alguien o tú solo, como dice Silvia, y ahí vas, ¿ok? Vas respirando el aire fresco. Lo usual es salir a un lugar eh, como el bosque, digamos, un bosque o algo, salir a hacer senderismo. ¿Ok? Ya es dicho. Ok, so let's practice two things. Let me show you the. Um, the conversation one more time. So we can see. Can you? This is on your book. Alguien no tiene libro. Se supone que ahorita todos tendrían que tener el libro, ¿verdad? O por lo menos en digital. Yes? Ahí lo hemos compartido en el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Good. Bien, entonces, look. So, Justin what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? One, two, three, go. Repeat. What do you do in your free time? Good. What do you do in your free time? Good. Well, I love sports. Well, I love sports. I love sports. Good. Really? What sports really? do you like? Really? What sports do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Repeat. Mm. Like. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Repeat. Favorites. Favorite. 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 Very good. Favorite. Let's Favorite. continue. Wow, you are a really good athlete. 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 Wow. wow, you are wow. a really good athlete. 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 Solo leí, athlete. 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 Okay. Wow, you are a really good athlete. Good. When do you play all these sports? When do you play, do you play, play all these sports? Okay. This, ojo, these sports. These sports. These sports. 
¿Sí? No hagan una this, pausa, es this sports. This sports. This sports. Vamos a ver. So, what... Perfect. Dale, great job. When do you play all these sports? Ok. Oh, I don't play these sports. Repeat. Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh, oh, I, I don't play, play this. I don't sport. play this sport. sport. I just watch them. Uh -huh. I just <laughs> watch them. Listen, I just, I, I just, just watch, watch, watch I them just watch on television. television. On television. I just watch them on, on television. television. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. So first, you read two, three times the conversation, and then you start making the questions, okay? And y, y pregunto de nuevo, todo esto está en su libro, ¿verdad? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Yes. So, so let's do it. Practice this two or three times, and then you go with the questions to all of the group, all in the group, okay? Okay. Okay, okay let's okay. do it. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Teacher, me uní a un, gru a un grupo, por. Mm -hmm. ¿Dora? ¿Dora Alicia? Yes. ¿No le cayó la invitación? No. Ok, one second. Thank you. Right now, right now. Mm -hmm. No me vaya a aceptar la primera invitación, porfa. Vamos a verla en dos. A ver. Ahí está. Y ahora sí, vamos a ver. Ok, ahí está. Teacher, ya sé lo que sucede, es que cuando activo el teléfono y no me he unido, no acepta la invitación. Mm. Ajá. Y ahora sí. No. No. Es que le di a activar el micrófono. Y okay. ahí no se... Ahora sí. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Stephanie. Hola, Stephanie. Oh, I don't play this sport. This sport, I just watch. You uh, watch him being on television. Okay, next. Okay, I commence. So, Justin, what are you doing in your free time? Sarai? Okay. Yes. No sé si me escuchan. Pues sí. Okay. okay, let's start again. Hazel. Okay. So, Justin, what are you doing in your free time? Well, a lot of sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer. Are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athlete. Hoy nosotros al contrario, si quiere, chica, empiece usted. Okay. Creo que me están dejando afuera. Es cierto. Perdón. Vaya, hágalo con él. 
Ya ves cómo, cómo soy el único hombre por eso. No hablé, no, no es que te conviene, no te conviene. Anterior somos Ah, no, por eso no vaya a ser. <risa> Oye, entonces de Carolina con él. Ok. Empiezo yo. Empiece, sí. Ok, so Justin, what, what do you do in your free time? Free. free what I like sport. Really? What sport do you like? Ah, uh, hey, what sport and soccer it is my favorite. Wow, you're a really good at Athlete, no sé. Okay. A Z L I T. Athlete. Athlete. A Z L I T. Athlete. Athlete. Saca la lengua un poco. Athlete. Plus y en lo que metes la lengua se oye la L. Athlete. 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 Ahí está. Athlete. Very good. Good. Okay. Continue, José Mario. Oh, I don't play this sport. Just watch the entertainment. Jose Mario, I don't play this sports. This sports. No, es una pausa. I don't play this sports. I don't play this sport. Good. Uh -huh. I don't, play, I this don't sport. play this sport. No, es la pausa. I don't play this I sports. Just... No, ya he hecho bien. I don't play this sport. Good. Uh -huh. I I just watched them on on television. Good, very good. Okay, continue, guys. Next, do it again. Bye, niñas. Carla, empieza. So, Justin, what do you do in your? Ahora comenzamos con las preguntas. O si quiere, intercambiemos la... Esto que estamos haciendo. ¿La conversación? Sí. Si quiere, yo comienzo y... Oh, ya, entonces... Ajá. So, Justin, uh -huh. what, do, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch team on television. Okay, good job. Now, so you already practiced the questions, the WH questions? No? Ya practicaron las preguntas. No, oh, hasta ahorita no. van empezando mm -hmm. a leer. Okay. <laughs> okay ¿Y qué then. significa where do you play? Where do you play? ¿Dónde juegas? Ajá. Uh -huh. I know. Oh, when. ¿Dónde está? Es where. Where do you Where play? Do you play? Uh -huh. Where do you play? ¿Dónde juegas? Sí. When do you play all these sports? All these sports. I don't play these sports. Okay. Go ahead. Do it again. Ya, ya practicaron todos. No soy como muy callados. Sí, la conversación sí. Okay. Now let's start with the questions. What sports do you play? Uh, and you ask someone, what sports do you play, Kenya? Oh, okay. Who do you play with? Okay. Where do you play? Where do you practice? How, when do you practice? Okay. Go ahead. Make the questions to a classmate. Come on, guys. Es como una entrevista, vamos. Ah, entonces, Kenia, what sports do you play? 
I play soccer and basketball. How do you play basketball with? I play with um, Lady, my who? friends. Es oh. con, que es con quién, verdad? Con quién uh -huh. practica. Who do you play with? Uh, very good. Entonces ahí va el with, ¿verdad? Correcto, ahí uh -huh. aplicas el with. I play with. I play with. Uh -huh. I play with my friends. And my brother. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Is... <gasps> okay. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. Me puede escuchar. Hello, Bueno, ahí está el link, ya se lo envié para que se conecte en otro grupo. Si no, eh, ya le voy a asignar de nuevo, ¿ok? Are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all this this sport? Oh, I don't play this this sport. I just watch them on television. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. Hey, repeat. Favorite. 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 Good. Very good, everybody. Okay. Favorite. Now let's do the questions. Okay. Move down, um, Carlos, who, who was sharing? Okay. Fatima, okay. what sport do you play? Um, I play basketball. Who do you play basketball with? Um, hi. Como me dijo? Who do who you do play? You who do you play basketball with? Uh, I play with my parents and my brother. Where do you play with your brother? In basketball. How often do you practice? And um, I um, sometimes. When do you practice basketball? In the park. What time do you practice? this start in the afternoon every day or frequency on the week frequent frequency in the week okay thank you fatima You're welcome good okay continue someone else we're almost done you know what let's go back so we can do the attendance still Let's go. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? on how to do WH questions. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre cómo hacer preguntas con WH? Yo la única pregunta que tendría, teacher, uh -huh. es de que al inicio de la conversación que acabamos de practicar, que dice so, so y el nombre de... Eh, eh, eso que dice so, eh, que yo me fijo que bastante lo utilizan y, y en algún momento dicen de que significa algo así como, bueno, la palabra así. Uh -huh pero no sé por qué tan seguido lo, me parece que tiene otros significados. ¿El CISO? ¿Qué, qué significado tendría? 
De esta manera, aplicado al inicio de una, de una conversación, Ernesto, sería entonces. entonces. Así como cuando nosotros decimos tons. Tons qué? <risa> tons qué? So what? Ok, es lo mismo. So, es, es como una, una muletilla, de hecho, que tienen los americanos. Igual que el do. Do. Mm. No significa nada, el do. Es como ponerle un, solo un auxiliar, nada más, ¿no? Oh, sí. No, 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 solo es, eh, a ver, tarea, investiguen expresiones, expresiones en inglés, de seguro ya se pueden más de alguna, como cuando escuchas que alguien dice, what, really, no way, are you kidding me? Yo, yo he escuchado que dicen, por ejemplo, y so beauty, por ejemplo. Ajá, y ahí voy, es el segundo. Que dice tan, tan bonito, tan. Exacto. Lindo, so es un aumentativo. <risa> ok, so es como decir, ajá, lo que acaba de decir, tan, que quiere decir tan. So beautiful, so big, it's so difficult, tan difícil, no sé, tan, tan grande. Tan pequeño. So little, yes, very good. Y así. So small. Very good. Sí, eso, eso prácticamente es un... En ese contexto, ¿eh? Un adjetivo se ocupa para decir que están... ¿Ok? Aumentándole el, el adjetivo. Eh, pero en este contexto es solamente una manera de decir... Y entonces... Justin, ¿qué haces en tu tiempo libre? ¿Ok? Sí. Ahí en relación que... a los deportes. Eh, yo sé de que hay, por ejemplo, digamos... En el deporte que es de patinaje, hay patinaje sobre hielo, hay un patinaje ah, sí. que es como sobre unas ramplas que... Snowboard. Eh, creo... Ajá. Skin es con dos skis, o sea, con dos paletas en los pies y las dos... ¿Cómo se llaman? Las dos palancas, pero no en cada mano. ¿Remos? Remos, ajá, prácticamente son remos, ¿sí? El otro es snowboard, y sí, hay diferentes disciplinas de deportes. El snowboard, que uno se amarra la tabla, una sola tabla como de patinar, de patineta, por ejemplo, en los pies, y es como ir surfeando en la nieve. Snowboard. Y es donde se ocupa eso de las ramplas, que es súper chivo. Teacher, y la pronunciación de boy, you're really inclusive. No sé, esa palabrita. En la conversación está. Ah. Boy, you're... Really really good wow, good. otra expresión, bien, otra, otra expresión, José Manuel. Wow, you're really good, you're really good athlete, you're a really good athlete. Ok, eh, ese O, oh, oh, I don't play the sports. Sería bueno, really, ahí está, really también. Y, y ese, mm, mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Todas esas son expressions. So, really? Hasta esa de, well, bueno, I love sports. Really? Mm, wow. Oh, <ríe> tiene como cinco en la conversación, no, no lo había notado. Very good. Ok. El deporte que es de escalar montaña, alpinismo, ¿cómo se diría? Alpinismo, climbing. 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 Climbing, yes. Mismo de decir climb, que es de escalar, ¿verdad? Ajá, climbing, Entonces, very good. Y para, caída, y para caída, a tirarse de un avión para... Um, eso es, bueno, para chute, para chute, <ríe> para chute, para chute. Uh -huh. Using okay. a parachute, but it's a free... For... No me acuerdo cómo es que se dice ese deporte. Ok, guys, time's up. Let me do the attendance first. The picture, Carlos José, turn on your camera. José Mario, if you can, please turn on your camera. Thank you. So let's take the picture. One, two, three. Sarai, look at me. <laughs> ok. Get me one second. And let's do the second picture. Oops, I made a little mistake. Okay, I see. One, two, three, again. Thank you. One second. And let's move here and here. Okay, last one. Thank you. That's it. Okay, guys, thank you very much.
no se les olvide la plataforma, porfa, hay varios que aún no han hecho algunos ejercicios. It's very important, okay? Good. So I'll see you tomorrow at one. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you, Ana Silvia Rodríguez Osorio. Ana Silvia. Present. Thank you, Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Present. Daria Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Dania Angélica Merlos Valle. Present. Good. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Thank you, Stephanie Yamilet, allá la costa. Que ya la vi que ahí está, pero parece que le falla el micrófono. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Thank you, Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Present. Thank you, José Mario Hernández Santos. Present. Thank you, Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karen Stephanie Arguete Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenia Celina Castillo Franco. Present, teacher. Thank you, Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Laura Bertila, me pareció que la vi por ahí. Laura, Laura, Como Laura. Mi asistencia, la teacher. Oh, no está. Ok, Laura Carolina Mengíbar Argueta. Ok, Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mario Ernesto, ya está. Mary Zaviga Fuentes de Velázquez. Present, teacher. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Ok. Good. Uh, Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Present teacher. Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Present. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.